Welcome everyone to another video on the Karting Tips channel and today we're going to be covering the speed secrets behind getting a fast lap at the new Desert Falls go-kart track. The track opened just over a year ago and it has a good combination of high speed and low speed corners. So let's watch a flying lap and then we'll break the lap down and explain to you corner by corner the exact line you need to be taking. So for turn one, you want to get your braking done before the corner so you can slow the cart down enough to take a late apex through the first hairpin turn. That allows you to go absolutely flat out through the second hairpin turn, keeping the revs high of course and on approach to our sweeping left hand turn where you want to tap the brake over here, kiss the inside edge and make this section a straight line as possible. For this hairpin turn, mid to late apex, using the full width of the track on exit, now go around this drainage cover on approach to the end of the lap. Really commit the cart to a close apex at the double left hand turns, again using the full width of the track on exit. Final part of the lap is all about placement of the cart and obviously wasting as less meters as possible and that is a fast lap at the Desert Falls track. So for turn one, it's essential that you get your braking point right and on the right hand side, the outside curb can act as a reference. So just as the curb ends, you want to brake after that point. So your rear wheels have now passed that curb, hit the brake now, slow the cart down. The end of the pit lane exit line can act as a turn in point because you're going for a late apex over here. When you go for a late apex, you initially want to leave a bit of a gap at the early part of the corner because at the end of the corner just over here is where you've completed the late apex. Now set your sights on preparing for turn number two where you're approaching it from the left hand side of the track as you can see and now you can go flat out on the gas pedal all the way through the second hairpin turn. This is flat out. Go for a middle apex in this case and it's important to use the full width of the track on exit, going right up against the barrier. There's a mini kink over here, so you want to hug the inside edge close to uh, the curb over there. Recenter the cart, go back to the middle of the track on approach to this sweeping left hand turn. It's difficult to identify a braking point, but just after this black barrier is a good uh, opportunity. You've passed that black barrier on the right hand side. Tap the brake now. It's not really heavy braking here, it's just a tap of the brake. Get the cart rotated, targeting. A middle apex once again that's a trend throughout the lap and as we get to the apex point we want to avoid riding the curb now set your sights on the next corner which you want to drive towards in a straight line as possible it's a tricky part of the lap because you can't see beyond this corner initially aim for a middle apex for the right hand turn remember you're going absolutely flat out over here the corner does open up on exit and as you notice we can see there's another straight line opportunity so drive towards that in a straight line as possible flat out all the way until you get to this drainage cover. That's your reference point to break. And you want to break in a straight line. We get here, break in a straight line, right? Nice and hard. Don't lose the rear end, but then target a middle apex for this right-hander or this almost hairpin corner. Notice we've taken once again a middle apex. It's important to maximize the width of the track on exit. It's a narrow track anyway, but use the full width of it. Go right to the outside edge over here. And now you can set your sights on the final part of the lap. You're going to get a bit of breathing space over here. It's important you go around this drainage cover, stay to the middle part of the track over here, and then veer off to the outside edge in preparation for the double left-hand turns. It's important you go quite wide on entry of the corner. You don't necessarily have to break for this corner, maybe just lift off on entry. And you want to target a mid to late apex. In this case, I've taken a late apex for the first left-hander. And for the second left-hander, I'm going to go for a middle apex. Again, keeping your foot pinned to the throttle, going flat out through here, heading towards the outside edge on exit because you're trying to maximize your exit speed, remember. The final part of the lap is all flat out, but it's about placement of the go-kart. And the best line with the most grip to take is to go over the straightage cover, cut it back to the left-hand side, and then veer off towards the middle part of the track for this back straight over here. Absolutely flat out down the back straight. You're heading in a straight line towards that pit lane entry line. And as you get there, you want to start steering to the left to go close to the inside edge uh, for this technically final corner. It's a kink, left-hand turn, all the way to the finish line. Now, a common mistake that drivers make at this track is that they'll overshoot the braking point for turn number one. This means they'll either overshoot the corner or even spin the go-kart out. And this is such a decisive corner because it sets you up for turn two, three, and four, since this is all taken flat out. And as we mentioned, the curb on the outside edge can act as a reference point so when your rear wheels pass that outside curb, that can be a signal to start braking. Stick to the concept of slow in, fast out, where you sacrifice time on the entry of the corner. So you're going to be faster at the exit part of the corner and subsequently for the corners to follow. 
Another section of the track that drivers struggle with is the right-left-right -right sequence. It's important to have as much control over the go-kart as possible through this section because the corners come one after the other after the other. So as we mentioned, for the first right-hand turn, you want to take a middle apex and naturally the corner will open up on exit and this way you can identify that you can drive to the next corner in a straight line. As you drive towards there in a straight line, your reference point for the braking is going to be this drainage cover. As you go over the drainage cover, hit the brake, break in a straight line so that the cart is stable and then you want to target a middle apex for that hairpin corner. If you're going too deep into this corner and missing the apex point at the hairpin turn, that means you're carrying too much speed and you're either braking too late or you're braking too less. Another important thing that you should know about this track layout is that the curbs are quite high and they're rounded. This means if you put two wheels over these high rounded curbs, you're actually going to lose time and you can risk the possibility of actually spinning out because there's not much grip on these curbs. And as soon as you ride the curb, your momentum gets cut out, so your speed almost goes back down to zero. So you should be aiming to drive each corner by just kissing the apex. And by kissing the apex, that means going as close to the curb as possible, but you're not actually riding over the curb and losing time. So overall, this track layout is quite tricky to learn at first. So it's all about doing as many laps as possible and getting familiar with the different braking points, turning points, and getting comfortable with finding the limit of the curbs. But don't get me wrong, once you get into the groove of things, this is an extremely fun track layout to drive. And stay tuned for an upcoming video where it's a battle at this track, 1v1 throughout the entire session. And that video will showcase why this track is really good for wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. And with that guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Let me know if you've driven at the Desert Falls go-kart track before. And if so, let me know in the comment section down below your favorite corner. Be sure to share this video with your friends. And if you did enjoy the video, then I'm sure you know exactly what to do. But until the next video, guys, keep karting and carry on.